Hi, welcome to this video series on music theory and how it applies to the guitar. We'll be taking a look at the C major scale um, that's notated here with middle C in the treble clef, but please note that it can also be written and it should be written in different octaves based on where you're playing it, either on the piano or the guitar, but we're going to use this um, scale and this graphic to help kind of orientate ourselves as we're learning about the C major scale and what it looks like on the guitar and what it looks like on the piano. All right. Um, first, a little introduction to how the guitar is a little bit different than the piano, because as you take a look at the piano, all the white keys are laid out in a line with the black keys separating them into, into groupings of eight, with two keys, two black keys, three black keys. And that separates all those notes into octaves or groupings of eight. But on a guitar fretboard, we don't have that. We have a couple um, fret markers, these dots here. Um, but we actually can't see the differentiation between the natural notes and the accidental notes or the sharps and the um, flats, okay? So, the other thing that happens is as far as pitch-wise, um, middle C is often right here, is called C4, okay? And the guitar itself can actually go from E2, so that would be E in the octave of, T, of, of 2, okay? We get that there. And at the 12th fret, that's E4 up there. Okay? And different guitars have different numbers of frets. This guitar actually goes up to C6, which I could play right there. Okay? And it's not really the most useful note um, on, on this guitar, but I do have access to that pitch if I would like. What's also interesting, a difference between piano and guitar, is I have one C4. Okay? But because of the way the strings are tuned, I have the ability to play C4 three different places uh, on, on a guitar. And take a look at where I can play E3 differently. I can play an E3 here, uh, E3, or it's the same E3, or right there, three different E3s. Okay? And they all have subtle differences, which might affect why I might choose one over the other, but pitch-wise, they're all E3s, whereas a piano, I only have one E3, okay? All right, so eventually we're gonna learn all the notes on all the strings, um, but we're gonna start, because this is a series dedicated to guitar, so we're gonna start with learning the notes on string five and string six, okay? So here's a little uh, reminder, the strings are numbered, one is the thinnest string closest to the floor, and six is the um, thickest string closest to your nose. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And when we call out the open notes, okay, the string names, um, we actually usually typically go um, from the ceiling to the floor. So we go E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay. Most people know the acronym Eddie, E. Dynamite, good, bye, Eddie. All right? So what we want to do is we want to learn the notes that are on um, the natural notes, which would be the white keys, um, are, that are on string six and string five. So we'll start with string six first. So open would be E, okay? And then fret one is F, fret three, G, fret five, A, fret seven, B, fret, 8, C, fret 10, D, and fret 12, E, okay? And that's an octave from this E2 to E3, all right? You're going to want to re repeat that many times until you have that burned in your memory because it's going to be our uh, E-shaped bar chords that we use, okay? Knowing our bass notes. We'll do the same thing on the very common um, fifth string root bar chords, A-shapes. So open fifth string is A, second fret B, third fret C, fifth fret D, seventh fret E, eighth fret F, tenth fret G, and the octave again, twelfth fret A. All right, so that's your first task. When you pick up the guitar to practice, just um, literally go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, Say them and pluck them. And if you're using a pick, this is a great chance to work on alternate picking. And then also in your fifth string, okay? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And you want a big challenge, you can combine them using strings five and six. So you might go E, F, G, A, B, I shifted to the fifth, C, D, E. Okay, that might be uh, uh, a good challenge for you as well. All right, that is the end of video number one. That's a great task to put into your um, brain, and I will see you soon for video number two.